Poughkeepsie to New York, thank you. Now there's fucking Peekskill. Why are you dressed up like that? What's the deal? Uh, Sorry, Dark Ages don't make people Dark Ages? Yeah, it's a new show. Mark's and you guys are like promoting it inside Trent Central? Bacterial cream. Antibacterial cream? Antibacterial cream? Germs from killing us. Oh, yeah. You're kidding. Yeah, it's all natural. Oh, and he's got a cell phone. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Dark Ages is not natural. Yeah, it's all 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 Where's the where's the cream? We want a patch of cream. Yeah, it's up right now. Cream, cream. Oh, there's the free cream. You only get one per customer. Interesting. Look, you guys are passing out drugs or something. How was the barbarian queen, huh? What happened to the girls in this outfit? I didn't do actually a job I can get in. What, like biking? biking? Yeah, well, you, you, like this you're, you're, be... you're gonna, You're going to lose your... your <laughs> if you do that, it would be a good workout. A huge ass. Yeah. It's metal. But this isn't completely bicycle. We've got to sit up a baby motor on it. I don't know. You know? <laughs> Oh really? Oh man. Today. So, so what does that mean? That there were guys actually riding with pedicabs with motors on them? Yeah, these motors were battery powered. Oh, you can't have electric motors anymore? Why not? Isn't that a good thing? <laughs> they want to kind of discourage. I think. And, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, if you have electrical assist, I happen to work with electric cars. I think that's a good idea. They banned them? Why? I'm going to have to look into this. Thanks what? for telling me. Well, uh, dude, if they want them to go slower and they think maybe they're going to go too fast. Oh. Electric? I don't know. No, we want electric cars all over New York, man. That's the whole what point. What we need is a little, uh, acceleration every now and then. That's yeah. Cool. No, we're going to get you neighborhood electric vehicles. Jenny, what are we doing? What's going on here? Tell me.
They go all over the country, yes. right? All over the country. They've done actions against Chevron? Chevron, down south, with all the various oil rigs. They've also been very powerful with the Chinese oil rigs. They've also been very powerful with the Oh yeah, that's where I'm from. Thank you. <laughs> you got to tell me more about that off camera. I want to know all the details. And so basically they're a very inspirational nonprofit that is bringing 25 million people every year to go out and fight the environment. Anything you want to talk about specifically, maybe that you have? What's the connection between Green Corps and the fashion industry? Well, actually, it's the connection of me and Loyal. When I started Loyal three years ago, I knew I wanted to find a very solid environmental nonprofit that could help us build the message of our company as well as make a bigger difference in the planet. I mean, eco fashion is great and everything, but we want to get a good product set. So that was my inspiration for speaking out an environmental nonprofit, and I met with Glenn, a alumni of the Green Corps program, and was really inspired by his message and what he had learned and what he had accomplished, which was really actually the thing that pulled me to the nonprofit and Green Corps. Do you know Catherine Hamnett? Pardon? Catherine Hamnett? Yes. Yes, Dean. Have you heard what she's done? No. I mean, I, well, I know she's an eco designer. Yeah, but she's completely revived the uh, ban nuclear global now oh, campaign. She's got all these t-shirts. And uh, uh, there's in Venus magazine, um, uh, Victoria Everman, you know, Victoria E. just like wrote a big thing about it. She put it on Hug. Are you on Hug? I am. You are? You should blog on Hug. Okay. You should send things every once in a while. Not okay. just like Hug things. You should actually like put stuff up. Okay. Yeah, please. I'm not so, you know, blog or savvy, but... Yeah, no, but we need people like you on Hug. Okay. I've been better testing there for like since they started with Graham Hill. Oh, okay. and, and, and Hug, you know what we're calling Hug now? It's the Green NSA. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Hey, thanks a lot. Thanks for having us. You're thanks welcome. for being here.
electrifyingtimes.com electrifyingtimes.com just go on the site and just like google it and just like search it and you'll find everything because we've been doing it for years yes I have you know, you know, my name's Remy. I started Wetlands with Larry Block. Wow. Well, you go way further back. I go way fucking back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, I, so you know Randy Hayes? I know Randy well.
There are reasons which you've been hearing about. I won't go into them in more detail because it would be redundant. We have a saying in the House that I've already heard from somebody when people were quacking late at night. Everything there is to say has been said, but it hasn't yet been said by everybody.